hello everyone let's start the another video so we will start from where we left in last video uh, we will start with synthetic theory of evolution the synthetic theory of evolution is also known as modern theory of organic evolution so let's see its definition uh, it's a combination of darwin's theory of natural selection and post darwinian theories of genetic variabilities in population now these post darwinian theories we will see what are these theories uh, which are combined with darwin's theory to uh, come up with this synthetic theory of evolution and uh, you know that darwin was not able to explain uh, this uh, evol natural selection uh, what is the context of natural selection this synthetic theory is able to uh, tell what is the context of natural selection and the context is genetic variability so genetics was not known during darwin's time but it was known later mm -hmm. and so many theories came regarding genetics uh, as well as mendelian genetics also came so all that combination of all that is known as synthetic theory we will see it later okay so uh, we will see one by one what are the post uh, darwinian uh, theories now uh, some of the few theorists are mendel mendel gave laws of heredity now uh, you will study mendel in detail during when you will study chapter 9 of uh, anthropology so there mendel gave uh, he uh, did p experiment and he gave uh, three four uh, laws regarding heredity how different characteristics are transferred from parents to offsprings now uh, that is not uh, re relevant here to study that just know that uh, mendel's law of heredity are combined in synthetic theory of evolution also one more thing that mendel's theory uh, means mendel gave his laws of heredity during darwin's time only however its uh, importance was not known that time darwin gave around 1860 uh, his theory of natural selection and mendel's theory also came during that time itself however during 1900s almost after 40 years mendel mendel's theory was given importance so uh, this is the reason why uh, mendel uh, mendel's theory is included in synthetic theory rather than in uh, darwin's uh, theory also one more thing that the synthetic theory came during 1930s when uh, genetics was uh, uh, means quite widely po popular so you should know all this context then we will see second theorist d vries Uh, his name is hugo de vries he gave mutation theory so according to mutation theory there are sudden changes in our genetic uh, pool and those genes suddenly change so new species arise by sudden changes or spot mutation so according to him immediate changes occur due to some factors either environmental or natural but that is known as mutation theory he is, it is given by hugo de vries then wagner's theory uh, of geographical isolation so he says that uh, wagner says that uh, if any particular species is left isolated in a particular environment so it will uh, develop certain characteristics uh, so that is uh, wagner's theory then sewell right uh, he gave genetic drift concept so what is genetic drift it is a statistical concept means it is basically mathematical concept it's similar to wagner's theory uh, what happens that variation in gene frequency in a small population due to accident or chance so same thing like geographical isolation theory so let's say if a population is trapped in a geographical island so definitely some some of the genes will be more in that particular population so they will continue and continue and that that proportion of those particular genes will increase say for example if uh, uh, when the napoleon was uh, uh, means uh, imprisoned on a certain island so what happened that uh, the guards which were guarding him they uh, started living there so uh, they were have some of the guards were having uh, one pigment in their eye uh, that is called retinal pigment pigment so all their generations were having the same eye defect also let's say if the population was having blood group a so most of the uh, in uh, means generations which will come later they will also have a blood group this is just an example of uh, genetic drift how it occurs so uh, means in normal population maybe genetic drift will not occur but when uh, if you take an state uh, means a separate statistical uh, population group then the genetic drift occurs you will study this again in detail in uh, during genetics 
okay so this hardy weinberg equilibrium uh, means this is an statistical concept again this is mathematical model and this is given by two scientists hardy and weinberg so according to them uh, that uh, population equilibrium is maintained if uh, these four conditions are met that is population is large no mutation occurs no migration occurs no natural selection occurs so if these things are uh, there then uh, population remains same so if any of the changes occur either due to mutation migration or natural selection or if the population is small very small then there will be uh, changes in gene frequencies or gene uh, means total gene pool and that that will lead to evolution so these are some of the theorists which you have to write in synthetic theory of evolution